All right, folks, welcome back to the next episode of Coding with Rifa. Today, we're going to check out how to create dynamic text with D3JS and SVG. Let's check it out. First thing you want to do, go ahead, go to Google and type in D3JS link. That's going to give you the script tag to go ahead and paste in your code. So copy this and paste it right here and we're ready to get started. You're not going to see anything here, but we're ready to get started coding. Let's do it. First thing you want to do is create your body. Okay, here's your body. That's where all the things that the user see is going to go. Next, you want to do create a script tag, another set of script tag to hold your D3JS code. All right, let's get started. First thing uh, you want to do is let's say you've got a bunch of students. Okay, so I'm going to write var students is equal to and I'm going to make it an array. So maybe I've got a bunch of students like uh, Abraham. Uh, who else? We have uh, Ajanta. We also have uh, Subo and uh, let's say I'm also my student. Okay, great. So now what we're going to do is let's see. We've got some students. We want to print their names. Let's see. We want to say hi to all of them. Well, how are we going to do that? D3JS has an amazing way to do that. Every programming language has many different ways to solve this problem. D3 has its own way. Let's check that out. So what D3 is going to do, it's going to d3.select uh, the body. So after we do that, we're going to select all the paragraphs elements in the body. And after we do that, we're going to go ahead and feed D3JS the data set. We, we just created the data set of students. So go ahead and put that in. And then we can enter. This enter method is going to tell D3JS the difference between what we want, all the data we want, and all the paragraphs we have so far. So it basically gives you a difference and it tells the programming language how many more paragraphs you should add. Okay, then we're going to actually append a paragraph for every additional uh, uh, data element that we don't have. And then finally, we're going to change the text of that paragraph element. We're going to write text function of D and we're going to write return hello. Oh no, we can write good morning actually. I think that's better. Good morning plus D. Okay, and now let's check out what this is going to give us. Save and refresh and boom, there it is. Good morning, Abraham. Good morning, Ajanta. Good morning, Shubo. Good morning, Rifat. And of course, you can change the attributes of the text if you want. Um, uh, let's uh, let's actually make the text a bit bigger. So, atter uh, font size. Let's say I want to make it 24 pixels. Uh, and of course, it's not going to change. So, I have to try an alternative method. When one way doesn't work, you have to seek out another. So, we're going to go ahead and go create a style method right here a style tag and inside of those style tags I'm going to say that every paragraph should have a font size of 24 pixels and a color of gray maybe and that's it folks thanks for watching this tutorial we'll check you out next time